This is Pix Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 14, The Source of Evil. Alright, so we're going to start off by wave dashing past these enemies. We're going to quickly talk to the old priest right here. Uh, but we got to do this as quick as possible because there are enemies still behind you. Uh, so what he just gave us is a chisel uh, and there are three crystals that we're going to need to uh, purify uh, the area of here so that we can be able to fight uh, Gasha Dokuro, I believe his name. That's the giant skeleton that we're seeing as the boss. So we could just go directly to fight him, but uh, what you're seeing, the those giant red circles, those are uh, yokai realms or um, well, they, yeah, they're pretty much like, yeah, they're pretty much uh, giant yokai realms that drain your key and whatnot. Uh, so we're, we're going to try to change all of them to uh, yellow or gold. Uh, so I just shot the NPC onto the head, do a finishing blow, go uh, getting as far away from him as possible so that he'll stop, uh, use the match slot to take him out again. And then finish him off with the uh, finish blow. And uh, uh, right next to the crystal is a revenant. We're going to take him out right there. And then before we get to that crystal, you're going to fight this yokai right here. So yeah, this is very much like the most easier way of fighting Gasha Dokuro. Uh, and again, if you wanted to just directly fight him, just go for it. Uh, this is like a... A better and safer way of uh, fighting him. All right, now that that yokai is taken care of, we're just gonna jump down here, and then we're gonna go next to this crystal. Just be warned when using the chisel onto the crystal, um, Gasha Dokuro will notice it and he will shoot fireballs at you uh, because uh, pretty much you are trying to uh, nerf him. So again, so you've seen that, uh, the next giant crystal right there. So we're going to go to our left and then we'll see the shrine right here just to uh, reset the enemy's position. And then we are going, we're going to be approaching the second crystal quietly and slowly, so that um, we don't want to disturb any re revenants uh, there. And uh, these uh, NPCs, as you're seeing, that's uh, uh, glowing right there, uh, the yokai realm right as well. All right, so we just use the chisel, um, and there you go. Instead of red, it's yellow, and again, it's alerted the Gasha Dokuro. And as you see, that was his fireballs shooting at you. Uh, but again, we're just gonna use that to reset the enemy. All right, so the third and final crystal. Uh, we're gonna be passing this giant yokai, and that giant yokai is uh, Ryoko, uh, I believe his name. Ba pretty much the first boss. Um, from it, uh, I almost fell from the hair, it's a little close. So, now that we have uh, used the final uh, crystal, we are gonna go back to the shrine, reset all the enemy's position. We're gonna switch to our dual sword, and go to our high stance, and then as soon as that giant one eye yokai. Uh, goes away. Just use Carnage, and then, uh, again, those golden, uh, those golden, golden barriers, pretty much uh, help you. Pretty much, they have a Kekai as well in it. So yeah, so after you skip this cutscene, really go to the right and fight this uh, that floating uh, fire yokai right there. And we're gonna immediately attack its ankles. So we'll just do a few hit combos on that. Uh, just be careful when he uh, takes his uh, giant steps. Uh, try to move as far away from him as possible because he does also uh, last damage as well. 
But once you take out his ankles, he'll be uh, uh, getting ambushed by the priests. Uh, so yeah, cat guy, carnage. Go all the way on top of this mountain. Then use sloth and weakness. Uh, and then just go berserk on the water slash as much as possible on him. And then uh, uh, if you... Usually some people would take him out on first try like that. Um, but this is not to worry about. So pretty much again, just do the same procedure but on his uh, other ankle. Alright, so again he'll just go... He'll go really in a crumble-like state. Go all the way top of the mountain. Uh, go to the left side of that realm. Uh, then use Kekai, Carnage. Uh, and then use Lightning on your dual sword. And as soon as his head comes down, Sloth, Weakness. And then use Water Slash. And uh, congratulations, if you have done these steps correctly, you have finished and defeated Gasha Dokuro. Uh, so there is a move that the Gasha Dokuro has, and it's a, like a one. And it's like a one hit one way ticket to death. He spin he spins around and he pretty much will annihilate you. Uh, if you're able to avoid that or he's not able to use that before you take his ankles down, that'll be very lucky. Uh, but anyway, uh, go to your inventory, check your weapons and armor, and if you had any prestige points, use them as much as possible. Alright. So we're gonna go to the blacksmith and then we're just gonna uh, replenish our ammo, buy some weapons and armor if you like, to disassemble and forge, or um, to soul merge. Alright, and we're gonna go to our shrine, go to the offerings, sell any remaining weapons and armor, and then use that to gain some emerita and some elixir reward and stone rewards. And then we go to the inventory, and if we have any soul stones available, use them as much as possible for more emerita. Then we're going to go to level up and we're going to increase our heart by 2. Alright, and then we're going to go to the next region. And there is a certain cutscene that I kind of like uh, looking at. So I'll just be quiet for this certain cutscene and enjoy. <laughs> ゴスケ。タイミーであった。はっ。三成の首は是非私めにお任せよ。この秀明、霧に苦しめられましたが、東軍へと派生参事、死死奮死の完成。うん。小早川殿だけでは難儀であろう。わしも手はずを整えたら、すぐに後を追いまする。キャリエスで
Alright. Well, the fourth one. I'm gonna go past here, where you see the shrine. We're gonna go all the way down here. We're gonna jump down here. Move this corpse. And when you see that tree right there, that's where the next Kodama will be. Alright, and then the final Kodama. So come back up here, climb up to this tower, and congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. So let's go to the nearest shrine, and go to our blessings, and see how many Kodamas we have in each blessing, and hope this video has helped you out.